A very happy day to all of you and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm your learning partner, Sushila Hariharan. Over 1 million people are employed in India working on products like equities and bonds that are settled on the New York Stock Exchange. These people uh, are extremely smart and efficient and work with some of the leading investment banks, back, op back uh, office operations in different cities of India. And therefore, I thought it very relevant to increase the employability quotient of many of the Indian graduates uh, to get right jobs with lucrative careers in some of these investment banks. So let's take a look at what is the New York Stock Exchange, what are the trades and settlements that take place over there, what are the listing requirements of the New York Stock Exchange, and the different segments of the NYSC. The content here is extremely useful for graduates who are looking for career options in investment banking, trade lifecycle and securities operations. The stock market, as we already know, is nowadays a trading platform for matching the buy orders with the sell orders. Earlier, it used to be a physical marketplace where buyers and sellers would route their orders through jobbers but now most of the transactions are conducted online for your information new york stock exchange is perhaps one of the fewest exchanges in the world which also trades in the physical market so there is both an electronic market as well as a physical market the physical market is on the very famous wall street and uh, that's how the name wall street has come to be known because of the number of global investors who operate from the high-end offices out there. Most stock markets specifically focus only on stocks. Other names that are commonly used for stocks, which I thought should be important to uh, uh, be explained to the non-finance crowd, is common shares, equities, etc. The stock market is also known as a share market. It's called as a share exchange in some uh, countries. And nowadays in a more uh, investment banking environment, it's called as an equities exchange. Do you know which is the largest stock exchange in the world? <laughs> in case you don't know, the title of the entire presentation is just that. NYSE indeed is a trillion dollar market capitalization market making it the largest stock market in the world it has grown through uh, acquisitions of uh, the american stock exchange as well as the tie up with euronext every stock market is a self regulating organization called as an sro so every stock exchange also has its own requirements and regulations with respect to what companies can get listed on the stock market. Post an IPO, every stock must get listed on the stock exchange. The natural outcome of an IPO is that the company lists its common stock on the stock exchange. This provides great liquidity to the people who have invested in an IPO. It provides great price discovery for the early investors as well as gives an opportunity to new investors to buy the stock of the company. Only if a stock is listed can you trade in that stock. This is a very important aspect. People tend to get confused saying that, so what if it's listed on NYSE? Can I buy it on NASDAQ? No, you can't. For, a, for you to be able to buy a particular stock, it has to be listed on that stock exchange. So if your broker has an account with BSE but does not have an account with NSE, then he can only buy those stocks that are traded on the BSE. He cannot buy those stocks that are traded on the NSE. So that interoperability is still not there. Every stock exchange has its own listings requirements. Okay, so many companies look in the National Stock Exchange, you have over 4,000 companies that are listed. On the New York Stock Exchange, you have thousands of companies that are listed. So they have to have, there are two sets of regulations that are there. The first set of regulations allow the company to get listed. So those are the 
parameters. Those are the thresholds. And the second set of regulations revolve around allowing those companies to stay listed. So, for example, if a listed company doesn't adhere to the regulations of that exchange, then it's entirely possible that the stock exchange may mandatorily suspend the company from its listing. Once the company does an IPO and it has applied and got approval from stock exchanges for listing, the stock exchange will assign a ticker to the company. A ticker is an alphabetical acronym or an abbreviation of the company's name. So it becomes very easy for the dealers and the traders in that particular stock to start trading on that stock. Now let's know more about this big huge market called the New York Stock Exchange. New York Stock Exchange has a market capitalization not running into millions. It is not even billions. It is 28 trillion dollars. This makes it the largest stock market in the world in terms of market capitalization. The second point to note over here is New York Stock Exchange is an order driven market. What does it mean? This means that the buyers and the sellers have to place their orders of whether they want to buy or whether they want to sell on that particular exchange. Okay, so traders will place buy orders or sell orders on the particular market. Now this is completely different from NASDAQ, okay, which is a quote driven market. On the NASDAQ, there are no orders placed. Dealers will keep flashing out prices called as quotes of both bid as well as ask and then other traders who are interested can place the price for that particular trade. So in NYSC buy orders are matched with sell orders. Okay, So price is the most important criteria for matching the orders. Not just not just buy versus sell but also price is the most important for matching the orders. NASDAQ on the other hand dealers keep flashing their prices and the quotes keep appearing on the screen. Automated trading systems match the buy orders and the sell orders. That is the strength of the New York Stock Exchange. The orders to match are done by the electronic trading platforms. The top companies that are listed on the New York Stock Exchange, can you guess? Heading the list obviously is the largest. Following Apple, which is considered to be a technology leader, is yet another technology giant, Microsoft. With a market capitalization of $2.25 trillion, the two of these companies almost influence the movement of other stocks in the NYSC. These two are followed by Alphabet, the parent company of Google with a $1.78 trillion market capitalization and Amazon, which is as good as a technology company at a $1.64 trillion. These $4 trillion companies rule the roost on the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, it's very difficult to do a complete and comprehensive analysis of the, all the lists of rules that are there for NYSE listing. So I'll just take in a sample set of them. For example, the minimum number of shares that is to be listed by any company is at least 1.1 million shares. This is the volume number, okay? This is in quantity, not in dollar terms, but in quantity terms. A company has to list at least 1.1 million shares. The collective market value of all the stocks of all the sh individual shares of a specific company should be at least 100 million dollars. This means companies which have market capitalization of less than 100 million cannot list on the NYSC. So this is a very very steep uh, threshold that NYSC has kept 
for ensuring that only well reputed well financed and growing companies are listed on the nysc the minimum listing price to be listed on the nysc for a share is four dollars per share so if i look at it it would be about four multiplied by 1.1 if we try to draw the equivalent rules on the nsc the listing rules are the minimum paid up capital is 10 crores the minimum market capitalization is 25 crores over here and uh, the companies must have a three-year track record so this track record is a very unique regulation that is there in the Indian stock markets and the fourth regulation is the positive net worth that is it cannot be a bankrupt company so in the case of Indian companies they cannot be bankrupt at the time of doing the IPO or at the time of listing but they could turn into negative net worth companies over a period of time. The trading segments of New York Stock Exchange include these four big segments. The first one is the big board. The big board comprises all stocks which have trillion or billion dollar market capitalization like the ones we just discussed. Uh, Google, that's Alphabet, Microsoft, uh, etc., which are listed on the big board. This is the large market capitalization of the NYSE. There is a separate segment for trading of companies which are in the SME segment, that's the small and medium enterprises. So, in a bid to boost growth of companies, also on the uh, NYSC are the trading segments, uh, SME companies which are listed on the NYSC. They also have a third segment called as the NYSC ARCA equities and finally the American options which is a segment for all the stocks that are listed on the uh, NYSC options, contracts, futures and options both are traded on this segment. Thank you so much for listening into the video. It's very important to understand how markets work. Uh, in the next video, we'll be talking about who is the market maker and what is the role of the market maker in the NYSE. Thank you so much.